I am absolutely thrilled and delighted to be an ambassador for the second Catalyst International Film Festival in Limerick, of which I'm sure there will be many more. Created by Dr. Susan Liddy, who has a profound knowledge of the Irish film industry and its equality and diversity issues and needs, and has long been a passionate voice and agitator for change and inclusion. The festival is being realized and guided by both Dr. Liddy and the brilliant director and producer, Vanessa Gilday. Together, they have created the aims and the ethos of the festival, which resonates hugely with me. The primary focus of the festival being gender equality, diversity, inclusion, connecting with all audiences and communities to address underrepresentation, to draw focus to and shine a light on marginalized artists and peoples, both on and off the screen, to provide a platform not just for discussion, but for action to support strategic and structural change that encourages and empowers those whose voices and bodies have been largely absent from the creative arena, who have been edited out of our seeing. Art and culture is both a reflection and interrogation of a country, where we figure out who we are, where we are, and who we want to be, and where we want to be. How can we be authentic to that if our art and culture does not reflect the whole, the full spectrum of our society? If there is not room made at every table, at every level, from the boardroom, the production meeting, the textual, who is in front of the camera, who is behind the camera, both literally and physically, the hair and makeup team, costume people, the director, to the person adjusting the light on the faces and bodies bearing witness on the screen. Inclusion cannot be an empty vessel of a word into which we pour our good intentions and leave to stagnate. What will that do? Where will that leave us? We need to dismantle any structure that constricts creative opportunities and possibilities for marginalized voices and peoples. And that requires sustained cultivation and active inclusion of consistently othered and often unheard voices and unseen bodies to create spaces that feel safe and accessible. It is time to amplify these voices and bring these bodies into sharp clarity and focus. In order to do that, it is necessary to investigate and energize. How can we support and make resources available and accessible to push back against invisibility so all artists can feel that their story is valued, is worthy of being told, they belong that their presence is welcomed and celebrated. I'm so excited that this, the Catalyst International Film Festival is addressing this imbalance and the importance of self-determination within the field of film so that the gaze, in this instance, the camera, when it's there, is not just on marginalized communities, but that stories are told from our perspective through the lens of ourselves, so that people can advocate for and tell their own stories their own way, center themselves, narrate our own identities on our own terms with nuance and complexity and occupy our spaces without apology and without undue explanation, but with pride and a sense of belonging. I feel that the Catalyst International Film Festival can and will act as a sort of compass, a beacon, a buoyant celebration of the multitude of exciting stories that are brimming in modern Ireland. And I'm thrilled, of course, that this is all to take place in Limerick, a city of determination, of grit and resilience, of uncowed beauty with a modern and multicultural identity that has a diverse and supportive artistic community. It's a perfect place for a meeting of all these waters. James Baldwin said, the language of the camera is the language of our dreams. The camera sees what you want it to see. It sees what you point it at. Let's make sure, ensure, it sees us all. <laughs>